Calamari's on the menu. I thought that was supposed to do things! Indiana Jones! Chocolate rain! Pours down from that large old sewer drain. Chocolate rain. Zombie tadpoles trying to eat my brain. Chocolate rain. Oh God. Over there. I knew that my microphone was not close to my face. I knew that. I wasn't about to start giving my pre-show callabaloo and didn't know that my microphone was halfway across the stage. I knew that. I know what's going on. I'm always in charge. I'm in charge of myself and my brain, which has not been working very well lately. What the hell's going on with my mind? It is blatant time. Folks, the sun is set. Night has fallen upon us. The moon's out. That means the goons are out. Ghouls, ghosts, and goblins wander the streets. And the League of Blades is here to meet. We got some evil to slay. Some monsters to kick away. We're playing a, a, a new horror game. It's been a struggle with trying to find engaging good new horror games recently, especially in 2023, four, what year is it? There's just not been a whole lot of big, good horror games out, but it'll pick up. Especially, there's not a lot of games coming out this year. We checked the, the game release the other day. There's not a lot of titles coming out this summer. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, when we have to do some grave digging. Have to find, have to dig deep, find some entertainment. But this one tonight is a horror game that is probably going to end up royally pissing me off. Not because of what it is. It's a Twin Peaks inspired. Do I got the Twin Peaks song right here fast? On my playlist. It's inspired by Twin Peaks. But the, what the previews that I have seen of it is, is that my least favorite style of game is where the protagonists constantly talk nonstop, always and forever, which doesn't allow a lot of interaction from a streamer standpoint to an audience standpoint. So I'm going to be raging all night long tonight as I try to answer your questions, make jokes, bring the entertainment, tell stories, do all the things we love to do here in this community while this person yaps in the background the entire time in a slow monotone droll should be fun should be fun if you guys want to support the league of blades if you want to bring tribute to this awesome community if you want to see to it that the blade masters are always locked and loaded axes of justice sharp flannels pressed and beards oiled and lubricated then Super Chats or becoming a Blade Master yourself is the best way to do that. You'll get a badge. We do have new stickers that for some reason I put up last week and YouTube didn't put them through till tonight. So we do have new stickers available for the Blade members, Blade Masters. Sorry, that took so long. I don't know why that's how that went, but that's just how that goes sometimes. And that's how that went. 
Also, if you want to bring your own entertainment to the broadcast, yeah, tribute! Tribute! <laughs> tribute! Okay. 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 I love the Laura Palmer song. Let's see who's answered the blade signal. Let's see who's in the audience. Let's see who's ready to go slay some evil and go on a little adventure with Papa. Cool, yeah. Tribute! Tribute! Good evening, Rachel. Hello, Marcelo. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Gen 2 boobs. Hey, Parker. Hello, Dan. Hello, Thad. Five dollars from the boat right if you rub my leg hairs, you will like it. Um, I certainly think very highly of you. Tribute! A hero has tri a hero has given tribute to the League of Blades. A hero has done a heroic deed for the League of Blades. First donation of the night coming from Thad Boatwright. <laughs> I love you, buddy. I don't know how much I'll enjoy touching legs. Tribute! We are here, friend. Welcome, Zombie Slayer. Hello, Natalie. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Glizzy Time. I really have been craving a hot dog, but I won't lower myself to that level. Hello, Alicia. Hello, Benjamin. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Alan. Hello, Cody. Hello, Susie. Hello, Helen. Hello, Jay. Hello, Tim. Let's begin this game. I have no idea what to expect out of this game. No idea. It looks good, the animation's different, but I do know that the character is probably never going to shut up, which should be fun. Also didn't test the game to see if it works or not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't test the game. Uh-oh. Are we still here? We are still here. Greetings, what's up? I need to get a technical difficulty. We don't actually normally have technical difficulties that often on this show. We're actually pretty fortunate that we run a pretty smooth ship here. But I probably should have tested this game before I... What's the word that typed? Or what's the word that rhymes with tested? There it goes. We in, baby! Dark days. I need to move my camera up. Sorry, I'm in the middle of the screen here. Dark days are upon us. Dark days indeedly. Upsy daisies. Uh, oh. Looking good. Yep, yeah, we're looking good. For your opinion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to love that old K sticker because we say okay a lot around here. Okay. 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 Let me turn this down a little bit. Okay. Okay. We know, we know. Get on with the show. Oh, Jack, you're one of the reasons why I hate streaming. <laughs> I, uh, I'm constantly in a rush, and I don't like being that way. I'm going to take my time. Love you, Jack. For your opinion on Resident Evil 9, which classic character would you like to see make a comeback? Either Billy from Resident Evil Zero or everybody else is pretty well, I guess Claire. Claire's not been in one in a while. Let's play Dark Days. It says press A to start, but I'm not using a controller. I'm using faster streamer, faster. In this, in this world of just instant dopamine dumps and stimulation and constant internet orgasm and let's all take a second together and just breathe it's a good place to be here in boomtown it's a good place to sit around the bonfire here tell stories share memories together or join the adventure for some jolly cooperation and help papa slay no matter what, this is an escape. And that's how we're going to use it. Uh, let's see here, settings. English. Uh, subtitles? Oh yeah, we gotta have subtitles. 
Lord knows. Subtitles background zero one. Borderless. Hello, Melissa. Resolution good. Letterbox yes. Hi, Brian. I love you. Well, fuck me, I guess. It's the Brian Stall Show. Welcome to the Brian Stall Show, everybody. Here he comes. He's ready to put on some entertainment for you. Come on, Brian. It's not always about you, Scotty. Huh. I guess you're right. It's not always about me. <laughs> I ain't waiting on this mother father stream. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You're right. It was a joke. You're a, I'm not saying that. I like you. I'm not going to call you a joke. That's not nice. Even though I was joking. You're not a joke. I think you're great. But my girlfriend does call me a clown three times a day. And that really does hurt my self-esteem. Especially after the bedroom. Skill issue. I'm not playing on controller, you crazy game. Here I am, lost again. <laughs> if Tara was here, she'd ask how the hell I can get lost. In oh, a place I thought that was basically has one road. Damn, I already miss San Francisco. No more cigarettes. Years old, Sorry, Nails. There's a new place to hide. Oh, now that's heartwarming news. Thanks, Death Valley. Well, this game looks cool. I can't believe this thing's still hanging in there. Memories are pretty sturdy little things. It's a... Uh... Dreamcatcher on a string that's made to hang from that's fine. Was I going too fast? Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, breathe. Relax. Oh, it was just a, a panic attack or something. No, it wasn't. That was a oh, goddamn demon. Over. Oh, anywhere. Quick. Oh. Holy crap! That was a goddamn demon. Oh, at last. Oh, my back. That thing back there on the road. Oof. I don't even want to think about it. Are you kidding me? In the same parking lot, there's a Winnebago and a Pinto. When I was first alive as a little baby blade, mustache and beard, elegant dripping in masculine testosterone the sun gleaming off of my blade shades in a golden diaper wearing flannel at six months old the car that my family had was a pinto station wagon that pinto station wagon was so poorly made that one day our driveway was on an incline one day the brakes just gave out on that pinto and the pinto went over the bank and died and that's the story of our family station wagon. <laughs> it gave up and died. It just let go of the brakes and went over the mountain. This game already feels gritty. I'm already really liking the set piece that the game has given us. The animation style, the, the storytelling, the voice acting is really, really good. It's not like those Russian games we play where it, the guy tries to speak English in broken English. What was that game where you got stuck and you drove past a camper? Um, it was one of those horror games that we played. I want to say it was from the Fears to Fathom series that we never finished because a lot of folks said the game was born. And then once again, I was told to go faster, 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 faster. And I'm done. Does anybody want a sandwich? I'm going to the kitchen. 
Hey, Misty. Good old Pinto. One good rear end accident and boom. Really? There's an anomaly in my shorts? <laughs> Report it. Hi. Is this 911? I've got an anomaly in my pants. Who used to say that all the time? Black Vulcan from Super Friends? In my pants. But that was from Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Who is the man in the suit? Who is the cat with the beak? Do you really want to feel him? Ah, the Crystal. attorney. Still missing. Hey, be his corpus. She was in the neighborhood when she disappeared. I think we're a detective or a journalist or something. Let's go find out. We're at the Motel 9, where we'll leave the cockroaches on for you. Some of the worst takedowns and drug deals I ever did was at motels, man. Motels are just... Okay, for some reason, my character does not move to the left. Which is fine. I don't have to have her. That's. I just can't move to the left. Another heroic deed has been made in the audience. Jordan Night Train Cooper has returned from the fields of battle and swore their allegiance once again to the Blade Masters, taking their place at the table of blades and let our eagles fly. In celebration of our returning Blade Master. Thank you so much, my friend, for supporting the show, and supporting our community. What kind of picture is that? That's really cool. I like that a lot. That, there is something to be said about art because it captures the mind of the person making it and it also tells a story, but that story is told based on your imagination. So you are you can run wild with what you see. I bet Keller just popped a lady boner with me talking about art like that. But that's cool. That is cool. I would love to have that picture. There, there's so much chaos in that one frame. Wow. Play poop killer. Get off my... Zach, I'm going to need you to get all the way off my back on this one. I'm playing this game. This game cost $9. I'm playing it. You can... I really appreciate the folks who take the time to put their suggestions in the suggestion box. It normally says, eat a big wiener. Every once in a while, you guys have something good to say. I will uh, take into consideration playing Poop Killer next time. Poop Killer is free. No, it's not. Crystal Huygens. This girl's face is everywhere since she disappeared. Crystal her family must be actively Huygens. searching for her. Nine dollar Poop she Killer? she just found a better place to live. After all the Poop Killing I've been doing, I own all of them. They end up being about $18 total after buying all of them. Nice. Oh, I should buy one of those for the apartment. Tara would love it. A jukebox? Come visit our big nothing. The most amazing nothingness you'll ever visit. Oh, I love the desert. The voice acting of this is superb. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it was going to do something. Shut up, you evil machine. Okay. How nice to share your junk food remnants with the clients. Scotty, have you played the Stalker series? Yes, but I don't remember which one. Nice sound. So, what now? Well, if you're patient... Hello? If you're patient, you'll wait till the guy shows up. Hey. Hey, are you the werewolf at I'm night? I'm gonna need your ID card. Let's slow down here. <laughs> Hello there. <clears throat> when did Chuck Norris start running a motel? That's Chuck Norris's retirement gig. His retirement gig is he's starting to work motels now. Here you go, champ. Did you get it? 
No ID card. Oh, my no ID room. card. <sighs> Left it in the car. I hope. Is Gabriel Luna good as Ghost Rider? Gabriel Luna. Is that the guy that played Robbie Reyes? If that's the guy that played Robbie Reyes, that is one of my favorite versions of Ghost Rider I have ever seen. And yes, he did an incredible job. An absolutely incredible job. That is the guy that played Robbie Reyes? Then yes, I... That's probably... That may be my favorite big screen or any kind of live-action version of Ghost Rider. How's it going, Christine? I still don't like that nickname, huh? Deal with it, babe. Well, listen, babe, you need your license. Did I get my license? Why would my license be in the trunk? That's really cheap, holy poop. <laughs> Here you are, you fragile official proof of my existence. You know you can't board a plane and go to another country without your passport. That's a pretty cheap way to identify somebody. Chuck Norris, here you go. Okay. Now I hope he's not going to stare at my picture for too long. What's wrong with his eye? He's got a glass eye, doesn't he? Now I feel bad. A lot of these shady places don't even take IDs. They don't care. Give me 60 bucks. You can do whatever you want to in that room. Hell, we'll leave the lie sitting out beside the bathtub so you can burn down the body parts. I've seen it. That was probably a little dark, but that was my life as a homicide detective for a little Enjoy while. Enjoy your stay. Some pretty interesting things to see around here. Where? Bruce Lee pulled his eye out? I'm making a joke, but you said that so matter-of-factly, it's like you're telling the truth. How cool is it to be Chuck Norris and also have known and been really cool with Bruce Lee? That's badass. You said that so matter-of-factly. You didn't see that amazing windmill? It blew my mind. It blew my mind. <laughs> Stupid soda! No, wait a second. He's putting up another one of those missing signs. Hey, man, do you know anything about these missing people? Huh. A missing person's ad. Crystal Huygens. Wow. It's the girl they talked about on the radio news. Is this guy a relative? Well, this is obviously the guy that kidnapped her. I mean, look at him. Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. He's breathing heavy on a picture of her. He's wearing a suit at night. Get out of here, loser! You like Chuck Norris jokes? I don't know any. Oh, of course. I forgot my ID card on the desk. I'm an idiot. I'm also the oh, kind of guy... You need to stop losing this thing, Jade. Well, I mean, it is important. It's kind of crazy. Foam boots are pretty much gone. I'm really glad they're gone. Do you know that I learned this in Hematoba school? Or we had a germologist come in and talk to us at one point in my life when that was going through some stuff where immunity issues was a thing. And I just asked the guys, like, what is the dirtiest thing ever? They said, your cell phone. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess that's true. He's like, the second most dirty thing is a phone booth. So anything phone-related is how people get sick. And I never put that together because I'm always on my phone. But your phone is where your hands, like, sit and hold and sweat all day long and fingerprint and just and you lay it down everywhere you lay it down on tables when you eat you lay it and it constantly just attracts 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 germs then you put up your face and basically just all over the screen of it no wonder we get sick cell phones phone booths my room is the first room there that sucks Ooh, love the yellow tape. Really livens up the space. You've done a great job with this place. Are you kidding? Hey, what's up, Jamie? There is no way on God's beautiful green earth that I would stay in a motel where one of the rooms is marked off with police tape. Also, what's going on there? All right, guys. Eye of the beholder. You gaze upon this photo. 
you see this what story does this photo tell you goodbye horses <laughs> you own a phone repair shop in Alabama you own a phone repair shop well that's freaking unique and cool what did I do something wrong he's looking at me like I've done something wrong he's not looking at you at all a horse centipede <laughs> a horsepede two asses one frame Where does the hay go? <laughs> it's a hey Eric. It's a horse horse horses horse. Hey, there's the uh, uh, Chuck Norris joke from Your Dirty Thoughts. No pooping, yeah. You're kind of upset about the reviews for the new South Park game. Oh, everybody's saying it's awful. I, I mentioned this the other day when we were playing one of our daytime adventures. I don't know if Trey and Matt had anything to do with this one. And if they did, did they do it on purpose to kind of... You know how they're always doing satire? <sighs> what am I doing here, Tara? God, I wish you were here. Next time I'll think twice before running off. Did they do it because so many games nowadays are just awful? So they're like, yeah, watch this. And then they just put out trash. Or do they have nothing to do with it and the game is just awful? I will definitely consider subscribing if you eat cheese. Sorry, buddy. I love you, but I don't dance like a monkey on command. I just want all this picture of this dog. He's got a human eye! Whoa! I just, I just said that, Brian. I, I'm all about it, but I, I don't... No matter how hard I try, it will still be the wrong key. Hmm... All right, this Here is the room, two way. Jade's sacred place, land of the nap. It's the art. TV, phone. Maybe I will survive this place after all. Why does Harry Potter have a cleft lip? <laughs> What's going on with this game? Little John, huh? Well, what I'm guessing is that the developer just punched in a lot of idea prompts on an AI creator and created a bunch of crazy AI pictures and decided to put it in the this game. The looks okay. Not sure about that painting, though. None of the paintings look good. All the paintings are a little bit on the creepy side. Oh, well, let's take a nap. Hey, bed. Can you make this day a distant memory? No more being tired. No more monsters. And uh, while you're at it, how about a few ideas for my book? Or some instant money in my bank account. That was what happened immediately after the killing curse on oh, Harry Potter? I must be dreaming already. Hey, Tara, you're here. It's our cool lesbian! Yeah! This game's awesome! Yeah! I can't move. I want to go do lesbian stuff, but I can't. Oh, she's coming to me. I still got it. Hey, Heather. Come on over. Here I am. Not such a great shot of me, but... Uh, Tara insisted on keeping it. Hey, Nick James. This is the greatest game ever made. So I'm like in a memory or something. Aspirin, huh? It's late. One of your sleepless nights. I'm so sorry for you. I'd give you some hours of my sleep if I could, baby. A.M. It's 4 a.m. I'm writing. You're 
you're counting the hours. Hey, Marlo. Holy freaking backdoor I demon! Never stare at it. Run away. Run away and hide. It's a nightmare. A nightmare. Five dollars from your dirty thoughts for the league. Tribute back! Tribute! Oh, that thing again. What the hell was that? Am I going nuts or what? Man, I really need to clear my head. Your dirty thoughts! With a $5 donor heroic deed for the League of Blaze. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Thank you for the five bones. Tribute! I'm gonna answer this phone. That was nuts. Let me talk. You don't know what you've stepped into. The motel where you're staying was built on lies. It's dangerous, like this whole region. Some folks know, but they keep letting people come here. People like you. Leave as fast as you can. We don't call it Death Valley for nothing. Aw, oh, man. I lost all the cool lesbian stuff. No maidens. Ah. I lost my maiden. Well, that was uh, interesting. Absolutely not spooky. Yeah, built on lies. What is that fine. supposed to mean? So far, this game is absolutely chock full of character and atmosphere and, and everything, and I'm loving it. One of Tara's and my favorite albums. Found it in a store before leaving the city. Very good deal. Very good deal. What's on TV? Looks like a live forecast of my brain. Ain't that the truth? My brain too. I think I'll give this reading a pass. Personally, you would leave, but what if, hear me out. What if they need a hero? They need a hero! The lock's broken, huh? Uh-oh. She didn't say anything. I hope that doesn't mean the game's glitched, because I'm having fun. Whoa, wait, what was that? What the hell? Oh, I can hide! You're not one- You're literally a member of the League of Blades, you ding-dong! <laughs> Stop staring at me. You know I'd like to, but you know I can't. Yeah, because these days when I write, I spend more time chewing my nails than typing, okay? Oh, and I thought I was a pro. Grab that note. Even six books Grab later, writing scares me like I was a kid or something. Grab the note. I have no idea what this means. Reminder, next time you leave yourself a reminder, remind yourself to be more explicit. 6B. Hmm. All right. Remember 6B, chat. I'll write it down in case somebody decides to put 9T. I'll put down 6B. Open and draw makes noise. It does. Whoever chose this for decoration should have a 24-hour-a-day police tale. The person who made the game, which is you, weirdo. A Bible. I wish it could help me with this headache. Do you have a headache? And there's some really detailed searching in this game. So we need to hide. Why would anyone want little John staring at them while they sleep? <laughs> I don't know. That was pretty rough. Okay, TV's off. This thing looks like it's on the blink. Don't know what that like means. Most things around here. Yeah, you get what you pay for, I guess. Oh, look, that's going to be the code to get into this chest right here. So we need the other two numbers. See, this is why people in the 70s thought that we were all crazy. Two dollars from your dirty thoughts. Remember, Genesis is Skynet. That's true. And we're here to prevent Skynet. We don't need Skynet to happen. 
Thank you, your dirty thought. There was a sound. I didn't hear anything. Thank you, your dirty thought. Back to back super Where chats from an absolute superstar. Thank you for that tribute, my friend. So we found the key, so I guess that means that gets us into this closet right here. No? Uh, what was locked? Locked? D did I do that? Where's the key? Do I not have the key? I've got a key in my inventory. I can hear the guy outside sweeping. Oh, must be some useful stuff in there. Come on, Jade, you're supposed to have set this code. Okay, need to find it somehow. Mm. Hmm. What's the ticker state? It says tribute. Or the other one says okay. I wish YouTube would let us make our stickers bigger. You can see it fine on PC, but I guess on mobile it's hard to see. <laughs> okay. Well, where the hell is the rest of the puzzle? Uh, why did I leave? It was. Oh, sh oh no. shit! No! Help, no. help, help! Why is she so stanky? God, at last. So she looks like Tara, our girlfriend, but in demonic form, which is odd. So is it kind of like an Alan Wake situation where a character that she's created in the world of fantasy has come to life? That would be cool. I have no idea what this means. Reminder, next time you leave yourself a reminder, remind yourself to be more explicit. Yeah, shut up. 8-5. No, stop hiding. I'm trying to open the drawer here. The drawer! Oh, I guess that's a nine. So what's the first digit then? Is that supposed to be a one? One nine eight five? Nineteen eighty five? One nine eight five. Was that not it? Locked. Okay. One. Nine. Eight. Five. Is it not one? That's a six. Sixty-nine. <laughs> six. Nine. Eight. Huh. 1685. Stop hiding. Seven. Oh, 
Oh. I bet I should have pushed clear in the first place. Yeah. Uh. Scotty, is it boob? Hey, David. I'm not sure why this is here, but I'm glad it is. Time to get that door open. Oh, Tara, I miss you. It was so stupid to leave like that. Boom, ding. I don't know what's up with this Last of Us music. I'm in. Now let's find that key and get out of here. Oh, yeah, I forgot she's locked in. He, deodorant. Resident Evil has taught us that all keys are in toilet. He, nothing. He, no. Take poop on tea. Poop, pooping. Pooping. Nothing. Key. I have no idea how I got there, but my head hurts and I don't care. It's what? time to get out of here. No water. Seriously. I really need to get some air. But first, a shower. I, I'm not hearing anything. Too bad it's so dirty. I'm pretty sure I look terrific right now. You're it's back. It's back. How did you know that? Help! I mean, exactly according to plan. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was fine. Okay. We got through it. Okay. Okay. You had a plan? Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Papa's always got a plan. Grab my stick called Puddin' and get to paddling with Puddin'. Come here, Puddin'. Are you hiding in the toilet or standing in it? Neither. I, well, I guess standing in it, but the lid was down, so I was standing on it. I'm free! Oh, shit, no, no, no. Focus, damn it. Okay. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh no, uh, no. Wait, that's the guy from the reception desk. Was that a dream? Why are you, are you mopped in with a broom and a bucket? You know what? And now, a quick weather update from the National Weather Service. We've received news of a sandstorm currently rising in Sandstove Creek, Death Valley. It is strongly recommended to avoid going out except in case of emergency and to lock all your doors and windows. Power cuts, service shortages, and sudden darkness are possible throughout the storm. So above all, remain calm. Okay. I'm good at remaining calm. I'm real good at remaining calm. Why broom? I, I, what I'm guessing is, is that the dude who made the game, or lady, I don't know who made it, didn't have the assets to put a broom in a bucket. So now the guy's having, or a mop in a bucket. So now the guy's using a broom and then has a bucket there for some reason. I have no idea why. If I was him, I'd have just not used the bucket. Or them, or whoever. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't use the bucket. Are you going to talk to him about the demons? Rough night, huh? 
It's the desert. It does that to some people. You actually we'll used to it. You actually said to go and see the scenery, you douchebag. Remember cheap Chuck Norris? Well, now his glass eye seems to be working, so I I need something to calm myself down. Alcohol. Coffee. Coffee. No, not coffee. Not coffee. Cigarette. Alcohol. Cigarette. I don't have any. I am so screwed. Hey, Chuck, can I bum a ciggy off of you, my friend? Never mind, I'm gonna pass out. Maybe he didn't expect you to be overcritical. The people closest to you cut you the deepest. Ted. Oh, it's the White House, my favorite bar. Oh, I'm gonna say no, it's, it's not. Wow, it's the night I met Tara for the first time. Tara! Not even hungry anymore. You're messing with my stomach, Tara. Yeah. This menu used to really make me drool, especially the cheap prices. But for now, you've switched off the world, and no burger on earth can compete. Am I watching a stream from three years ago? You look fantastic. Are you saying that for the past three years I look like shit? You were so beautiful. I think that night when I saw you, I discovered how empty I was. How much space there was left for someone like you. It's becoming all Twin Peaks on us. It is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Peepaw Blades here. Great game, but what's with the broom? Mop much, bro? That's actually the perfect Scotty Blades review. I have to remember that when I re review this game. Not much, bro. It's Bebo. You look at me. And then this eternal fear. This, this fear of the world, which is the only thing I know. This black fear that forces me to write. It disappears. Hey, Aaron. And there's only you. Are you flirting with me? Hi, Peepaw Blades. Not much? <laughs> In your eyes, just, uh... A welcoming curiosity. I don't know it then, but in a few minutes we'll start talking and and it will last for hours and and then years. Every night I muff punch that doorbell. You've just never seen anything like it. Oh, I'm still so full of you, Tara. What? The dream was too real. I can't see my boobs. Damn, I need coffee. Yeah, coffee will help. Time to use hot hairs out treatment. I Mota never ever use soap conditioner. Do you know what they put in the conditioner bottles? <laughs> Not conditioner. Man gravy. Empty. Story of my life. You're a very depressed person and you're really killing my vibe. Empty again? Story of my life, part two. That's it. Don't worry, Arisen. I have come to your aid. Welcome! Ha ha! Good to see you on our adventure tonight, David. What's French? I am Motel. I am Motel. I am French. I'm gonna bend down here. And the bathroom door is open. That's not weird. There's still a bit in there. What the hell? Hey, what are you doing here? Did Chuck Norris just pop a peep at my pretty, spectacular? What's the P word for butt? Fatty. Did Chuck Norris just peep a peep? At my prodigious fatty. I guess fatty starts with the F. You know what I'm saying. You were there. French Borat? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta answer this phone. Oh, no! Calm down, Jade. Your feet are wet. This is not the time to do stunts on the damn tiling. He locked me in. They... They locked me in? What the... Why does this keep happening? Where with the damn screwdriver? <laughs> Why does this right, keep good. happening? Now let's try to think and... God, this is so sick. Did he go through my shit? Uh, I can't fucking believe this. I drive 400 miles just to get burglarized in this hole. No, hall. John! Well, luckily they weren't trying to steal my new manuscript because uh, there isn't one. Well, as long as they didn't take a picture of John. Even the paintings? Why? That is kind of peculiar. Why did they go after the paintings? That is very peculiar. Are you gonna put any clothes on real quick? Well, it looks like someone really didn't like these pictures. I really hope that dude is not around anymore. <laughs> Little John. It's detaching itself. Looks like there's something behind it. A picture. What is this, a door? In a damn closet? Guys, we go. We we have been on so many adventures together. Hang on, the phone's ringing. <clears throat> League of Blades. <clears throat> League of Blades. <clears throat> Scotty. Scotty. League of Blades. Long dog slippers. It's me again. Hey. Listen, I can help you get away from this place. Stay away from that guy, Wesley Argos, the receptionist. He's involved and he's dangerous. I'm waiting for you in the parking lot. I know what you're thinking, but the truth is I'm the only friend you have right now. Come right away to the parking lot. Also, be sure you bring your money. Don't you're be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be suspicious. Don't be you suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Are genetic disorders, much like baldness or necrophilia. And it's only your fault if you don't hate yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> Huh? Hang on. No maidens. I love that. That's my new alert. No maidens. I love that. All right. All right. To the bat cave. We've been on a lot of adventures together. Okay. This is getting better and better. Who is that guy anyway? Okay. Who are they? What the hell am I still doing here? I got as many questions as you do. One place that we have never been in is Narnia. Follow me, guys, to a land of whimsy. We can get some Turkish delights and meet God dang the Ice Queen herself, Charlie's Theron, which she can put a spell on me any old time. Mr. Tumnus will give us all the Turkish delights and we can meet Aslan. That book rocked when I was a kid. The movies were dumb. Actually, they weren't too bad, now that I think about it. I'm going to bed. Even in a nightmare situation, women whines like my wife, Margaret. Way to stay in character, champ. Locked. What did you expect? Mm, screwdriver? 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 Screwdriver. Key? Glass. Screwdriver. Uh, weather forecast talked about a storm. Seems the sky didn't get the memo. <laughs> Screwdriver? They missed the point. It's not on the walls. It must be behind it behind the frame. Resident Evil taught me so much about how to solve escape room puzzles. Everything's taped to everything. Open! Passage. To where? Hope it's not one of these parallel dimension things. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> it's like the game knows me. I'm in. Ha ha ha! 
A screwdriver in the vagina. Okay, time to come out of the closet. <laughs> the second time in my life. That was sus. This... This is the room sealed by the police. Crystal's room. The girl that vanished. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna freak out. All this stuff on the walls. Whew, calm down. Breathe. Whew, relax. I've never had anything like it. It says it's mayonnaise, ketchup, and wash your sister's sauce. Did you just say wash your sister's sauce? First off, you shouldn't be washing your sister's. Sus. Okay. <laughs> so, I am very, very... Resident Evil is very good. I am very, very into this game right now. The story is cool. I care about the characters. I care about the plot. The world is awesome. The jump scares are done well. The animation is cool. So, to give you a recap, if you're just joining the stream or if you've not been paying attention, we are a author or an investigative journalist. I'm not sure which one yet, but I know we write things about mysteries. And we have stepped at a motel. And as we were getting out of our car and going into this motel, we kept seeing signs of missing people. Particularly of a girl named, insert name here. And this insert name here went missing from this motel. Which is why the room was taped up. We didn't know this when we arrived. And now we got locked in our room, crawled through a secret hole, and now we were in the room of the missing girl that has the police do not cross tape outside. So this is all of her stuff. And now it's up to us, I assume, to dig through the evidence and uncover the mystery of what's going on with this missing girl. While also being haunted by this weird demonic presence that keeps popping up that may or may not be part of an issue we got going on in our head or possession or something. Weird. Hmm. There's something going on here. Okay. That one clicked. That one didn't click. That one didn't click anymore. Okay. That's a lot of crucifixes. Who put them here? Was Did it not... her or... Was this some kind of chapel? This reminds me of my room when I was young. An you stayed in the cockroach motel? Hope. Oh, artist. Some place. There she is. That's the missing girl. Lonely, scared. Hey, Madison. Oh, it's like you can still feel Maybe her we should think about there. leaving the motel. And go where? Oh, wow. It's an altar. Did the serial killer take poops? Maybe this room wasn't the missing girl. Maybe this room was the serial killer's room. Why would the missing girl have an altar to herself? This is an urn. Oh, Crystal. No child should have to carry their mother's ashes. Huh? This must be Crystal. The older woman must be her mother. Good job, Archimedes. The You're the best detective deceased. ever. Deceased. She's very self-centered. Is that a jar? Yeah, it's an urn with a dead body in it. It's made of ashes. Nice craftsmanship. Can't wait to open your secret little box, Crystal. Can't wait to touch your little secret box, Crystal. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> 10 out of 10 lesbo jokes. Shower time. I'm safe in here with my thoughts. I do my best thinking in the shower. I want to live, live, live. I want to live. I want to live, live, live. I want to live. All burned down. Hey, Zach. She spent some time here. Maybe. Crazy. 
Don't do that shit. God. Shh. Ricky Spanish haunts me in both the world of American Dad and real life. Crystal's past. Photos from a normal life. Everyday memories. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. It's not dirt. It's a dead body. And we're going to take this jar and we're going to drive to the coast and we're going to toss the remains into the bosom of the Pacific Ocean. Special Agent Siegel Squawk has returned from the field of battle and joined us once again at the rightful place here at the Table of Blades. Well done, hero. It's good to have you back from your adventures. Welcome back to the Table of Blades, my friend. Eagles fly. Thank you for 11 months. We honor the return of the Blade Master. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. You purchased Tron Legacy earlier today. Tron Legacy. The movie with... Uh... Uh... He was also in the other movie we were just talking about. Uh, Jeff Bridges? Daniels? Daniel Bridge? There was a lot happening in your head, huh? Guess this motel's not for the lighthearted. Bridges? Oh, he was in Knock at the Cabin? Oh, okay. The dude and that chick? The dude and that chick. That's like every movie Other ever. symbols. She was obsessed. Drugs, maybe? Drugs make me see unicorns, so why not? Why the hell are you... What? <laughs> All right. Shut up, lady. Let's shove our long thing into that hole. Weird. How does it open? Could I? Okay, they're here. Oh, this is pretty cool. It still needs a piece. We need another piece. The last okay. one, I guess. Some kind of key. Shut up. Not what I was looking for, but I'll allow it. Crystal Huygens. No doubt, that's definitely her. All her stuff is still here. What do you mean? She clearly didn't just leave. No doubt. Her That's so obviously strange. her. Disappear like that. Her, it's her license. Crystal Wagons. No doubt. That's her. It's, <laughs> it's her license. Um, Crystal Wagons. No doubt. Nice buttons. I used to collect them too a long time ago. I had Chick Fil A ago. for supper. It was Before all right. I switched to collecting overdue notices. A hero brings tribute! Try the crosses again? I think I will. Case of in dollars, 77 cents from Special Agent Siegel Squawk. Love you all. Squawk, 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 squawk. Hey, squawk, squawk. Man, thank you so much for your tribute to the League of Blades. To our war on the evil and all things monstrous and villainous. <sighs> Thank well, you. This place definitely has for interesting you. closets. Thank you. For the seven, that's 77. Love you too, buddy. Uh, let's see. We got another chest, or another, yeah, another chest, another lockbox. I have no idea what the numbers are. Do I have a controller? Chick-fil-A is getting a new chicken supplier. The internet is big mad about it. Well, I got to be honest with you. I think I was getting ready to say it before I read your comment there. It wasn't great. It, uh... I've already seen symbols like this. Uh, my sandwich was pretty uh, chewy and unappetizing. Like NASCAR and... NASCAR. And... Giant drawings in stone they found in Peru. We door dashed it, which we shouldn't have done, but we door dashed it and they forgot Amber's salad dressing and... Who the hell wants to eat a dry salad? Looks like someone got their nose inside her suitcase. Probably the police. Chick-fil-A screws up every order that we get from there. This place sucks ass. Anyway. Here's Wonderwall.
locked. How am I gonna get out of here? I'm not even supposed to be. <laughs> stupid DoorDash. It's stupid Chick Fil A. It wasn't DoorDash's fault, but also stupid DoorDash. Hey Shane, we're looking. We're looking for numbers, guys. Numbers. They know you're not coming back to get it corrected. You're right. But they've also screwed up my order many times. I went through one time and they asked what my name was. I said, Scotty. When I pulled up, I was in a big ass lifted red Chevy Silverado looking like this. And the dude in the window said, Brenda? Do I look like a Brenda to you? Give me my Chick-fil-A Supreme Spicy Deluxe and get the hell out of my face before I go Brenda all over this place. <laughs> total, total Brenda vibes. <laughs> you got drone delivery? We don't have that yet. That's pretty cool. You're a Brenda now? <laughs> I guess. I'm a desirable, full-bodied woman, but nobody will have sex with me. And I have so much love to give. The Brenda Blade Show. Jacked up, big-ass red Chevy Silverado, bearded dude wearing, I think I was wearing an A-shirt. Muscles popping, beard flapping in the wind. Pulled up, looked in the window, and the guy goes, Brenda? No. Full body. Now I can't concentrate. Do you think? Mm. You have custom exhaust on that Chevy? No, not custom exhaust. Mm mm. A wooden key. I would have found this cute someplace else. That's what you get for touching everything. That's why everywhere I go, I touch everything and everybody. Just looking for clues. Just looking for clues. I think I found a clue. <laughs> All right, let's solve your stupid puzzle. Okay. Oh, wow. You'll never believe this, Tara. I figured out a riddle for once. Uh Oh, I guess that did show me a clue. Whatever. I was a detective. I know what the hell a clue looks like. 2707. 2707. A raging clue. 2707. I know. I know what's going on. I'm a detective. I'm a pilot. I can fly. I got big brain. Why is it getting hot in here? Oh, don't tell me the boat rights are knocking dirties. I didn't push the last digit. Or maybe I did. I wasn't paying attention. In a world of keys, must it be the ones that make you free? Roof burgers? The clue is Brenda. Stop! Brenda? I had to open my fist because it balled up. I was about to take my Robin Williams arms and just go send him to the hospital, Patch Adams style. I'll have you know you spent five hours playing Flight Simulator. Did you have off? I mean, did you get off the ground? I normally just crash on the airway or on the tarmac. I'm free! Hey, Raji. Hi, 
I'm Brenda Bones. Watch me bend over. Hey, thank you so much for bringing that up, Brenda. That guy called Scott to the B word. I had to unball my fist. I did. How's your evening going, Brenda? It would have went better if that salad has salad dressings because that really ruined the night. But I'll fix it. I'll make it all better. Keep it coming, dude. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Five dollars from Ryan Arithmetic. You could stop at five or six stores or just one. Ryan has given tribute to the League of Blades in the form of hilarity. Hi, my name is Carla Shaw. You can stop at five or six stores or just one. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. Hi, I'm Todd LaRue. You could stop at five or six stores or just one. I feel like a deer in the headlights of love. You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. Can I ask you kind of a weird question? You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. I'm Scotty Blade. You could stop at five or six stores. Well, they still spelled my name wrong in this skit. Well, that does not say Brenda. One. Sometimes, after I eat, I can still smell the food that I ate in my mustache. Or just one. I can see the Statue of Liberty from here. <laughs> we love you, Brenda. Ryan, thank you so much, my friend, for that heroic deed. For that tribute to a holy cause. Slaying evil, bringing justice. Thank you for the five bones. Hey, Christian. Well, it hurts real bad in his dumb as I. <laughs> I've already hit. What the hell? I've already hid. What, the... what are you talking about? I'm in the shower. The question was, has the guy that came into the chat and immediately said, are there any girls here? Have they came back? No, but somebody else did show up and constantly spam who in here is a women. I think it's gone. Who in here is the women? We've already banned one new dude tonight. We don't like new people around Play here. the best song in the, in the world. world. Or I'll, or I'll eat, eat your, your soul. soul, soul. We looked at each other. And we said... Okay, and we played the first thing that came to our head. Just so happened to be the best song in the world. Okay, Jade, you can do it. Remember those electronics classes. Remember Dad, he taught you. Your dad taught you how to... Electrician? All right. Tribute! Excuse me, who in here is the women? 
<laughs> Just the blade beacon brazened on high in the sky. Heroes coming from every direction. Blade mobiles and blade choppers. Guy bust in here. Excuse me. Where are the maidens? <laughs> are there any maidens fair here? A fuse. That'll do the trick. That's yeah, it. Let's do it. Hey, where are the white women at? What? What have I done wrong? Maybe what this is I wrong. Miss? Okay, this is wrong. This is right. It can't get no writer. Jim's one of the funnest people we've ever seen online. No pretty witty. maidens. <laughs> no maidens. She's really funny. She's a writer. No maidens. Out of order? Are you kidding me? Why the fuck is nothing working? Come on. Jen's come funny. On. Is it just the last time I checked? The last time that I checked. This is the Scotty Blade show. Okay? I don't know what's all this shit in there about Jen and Brian. This is the Scotty Blade show. Nine dollars ninety nine cents from Melvin Millennial High above the Mucky Muck. High above the Mucky Muck, castle made of clouds. That's its wonder boy sitting oh so proudly. Nothing much to say when you're high above the Mucky Muck. Yeah, yeah. Wonderboy. Are you kidding me? Who's the son of a... What is the secret oh, of your powers? Oh, it's locked like all the other windows. <laughs> that dog has seen some shit. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for the tribute. With axes raised high. Thank you so much, Melt Millennial, for the double digit donut. Thank you for the 10 bones, my friend. No. Can I pet that dog? No. He's Can sleeping. I pet that dog? <laughs> no. <laughs> we ain't petting that dog. Yeah, whatever, Jen. They've been fluffing you up. You're pretty cool, I guess. You're pretty cool. Now that looks like he's got a really wank eye. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Some folks have been watching our daytime adventures, huh? Some folks have been watching our Dragon's Dogma playthrough. Through the mountain! You want to pet that, Brenda? Nobody touches me. <laughs> you want to pet that, Brenda? Alright, let's get out of here. Locked. Am I the only one staying here or what? I think this is a setup. I think this is... Oh, good lord. That rabbit's got the mange. Okay, did I, did I not put the fuse in the thing? Come on oh. now, fit the hell in there. Somebody changed their name to Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. And then... It's just... It's... Well, it ain't... Secret, 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 secret. This one. Why am I running? She's wearing... She's in her underwear. She's, she's down to clown. She's ready to pound. She's ready for me to... Stick it in the brown. One more round. Is anything going to work, damn it? 
Yes. One down. Good. Now close yourselves already. Now, faster. Gen two Brenda's. If you're not done so yet, folks, don't forget to do the YouTube thing. Throw your own fuel to the blade fire. Make the broadcast strong. Make the blade beacon bright. Attract more heroes. That's Scotty Blade's delight. Okay, so it took me a while, but I finally finished it. Calm down. Hey, look. I wanted to make you a deer, but I'm not very good at this. So it eventually turned out to be a dream catcher. It'll catch your most perverted dreams, too. You okay with that? Ever seen a dream catcher blush? You better love it. I put my whole heart into it. And some of my blood, too, because I cut myself when I made it. Should I put it here? That way you'll think of me whenever you see it. But keep your eyes on the road. It'd be too bad to end up in a cactus. <laughs> Snap for real this time. I need help, but everyone's so far away. I'm all alone. So, Dak, let me give you the blade brief. Let me give you the lowdown. Let me give you the the big the big cheese. Let me give you the the news. Let me give you the the four one one. We're an investigative reporter and or author of mystery books. And we have ended up at a motel. And at this motel, we have seen a lot of missing persons posters. Well, it just so happens that the missing person went missing from this motel and that the room that was locked off with police tape was actually the missing person's room. When we got into the missing person's room, the dude that runs the motel he took a peek at us while we were taking a shower, or saw us naked or something, and ran off, and he tore our room all to pieces or something. And then we got a random phone call from some random guy, and that random person said this whole thing's a setup, and it's a bed of lies, and that you're in trouble, you need to get the hell out of here. Well, we can't. We keep getting locked in. That's the normal. The unnormal is that this weird demon monster wearing panties keeps popping up. We don't know the story behind that. We don't know why there is a murder mystery lady demon following us around in panties. Is it hallucinization? Is she dreaming all of this? That we don't know. And we don't fuck with Brenda. That's right. Don't you ever forget it. Nobody messes with Brenda. Nobody screws with Brenda. You mess with me. Dirty bed sheets. As in hey, sir. Petri dish. We'll know if we play the game, Scotty. Urge to throw you down the troll hole, rising. The laundry room. Rising. Damn, it's cold. Troll hole. Or just me. Better get used to it. I'm not That's going the... back up there. Oh my god! This is the coolest art ever! An Amazonian warrior princess, strong and stout, of frame and power, heralded by her sidekick, the space wizard! Oh my god! That's badass! I love it! Sarah! 5.0 from Sarah Jarvis. Thank you, Sarah. Tribute! Peak artistry, it really is. Nothing more cool than badass Amazonian warriors and wizards with space magic. <laughs> with Gandalf, Sarah Jarvis gives tribute to the League of Blades. Five bones. That's an old blacklight poster? Yeah, I think it is. How many oh. times will you check the balloon? Tree wizard, magical hands, and holy shit, it's another balloon. Tree wizard. <laughs> Tree wizard. It's another balloon. This one's broken. Huh. Always the one I pick. 
I've seen this before. That's from some kind of cartoon or that's from something. I don't remember what it is, but that's from something. MTV. This is out of order. Yeah, nothing lasts forever, my friend. Okay, these are all numbered. That's from Super Jail. It looks like Super Jail. Don't start staring at this thing, Jade. Mad TV, Beavis and Butthead. I thought it was an old MTV. Well, well, would you look at me taming a wild washing machine in the middle of the desert? Nice. Nice. I saw there's another token over there I gotta grab. Take that, you greedy coin sucking monster. Insert three coins, okay. Through the mountain! Secret, 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 secret. Hello! Yeah, come on out! Secret tunnel, yeah. Secret tunnel, yeah. Through the mountains, come on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You thought it was a monster truck? I can't remember what that's from. I swear it's from some kind of older hmm, cartoon. It's not switched on. But I could be wrong. So, one win in the game wins you one coin as a reward. Coins mean getting out of here. I guess I have no choice. Time to play a game inside of a game. Speed. Should work now. This is gonna suck. I can't. I haven't been able to use the left. I have not been able to use the, the A button all night tonight. Sorry, little Brenda? red Soviet plane. My life kind of depends on beating your ass. Brenda. I can't. I can't move. I can't move left. I can't move left. I haven't been able to move left this entire game. I've just been dealing with it. Gameception. Yes. So that terrible. was easy. I'm pretty good at waging war for a pacifist. You're a pacifist? What the hell's your problem? What are you going to do when somebody who's not a pacifist walks up and beats the shit out of you and takes what you want? I hope it's okay now. All right, number Other one. stuff to take care of. Like leaving this place in one piece. It's not going to work. The machine's already on. Oh, two? Five? It made a click. That's a good sign. Can't reach the door. It's stuck. It's always the smallest things that stand in your way. You cry immediately doing what? Hey, Gucci. That's Rob Zombie art? Yeah, but can you trust a Brenda? Then again, you immediately get a plus nine to your charisma for having a B in your name. Because B is the most powerful letter in the alphabet. Blades, B, I mean, come on. I mean, this, come on. This doesn't look normal at yeah. all. It does not look normal. An opening at the bottom of a washing machine? Okay, it's the only way out anyway. Thank you. There's a lot of bees here. Oh, check this out. Don't know where I am, but I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to what kind of dirty stuff are they trying to hide in here? Did you walk through a... Did we just crawl through a... What? 
what did we discover at the other end of this Thank goodness that we made it out of the other side of this. No maidens. Hopefully titties. This is why I love you. <laughs> Hopefully today's oh, there it goes. Oops. secret tunnel, secret tunnel through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret Something's breathing heavy around here, but I don't know where it's at. Where is it? I hear it. Secret Brenda. Secret Brenda. She's got a secret. Oh, dear. oh shit! Stay away. Stay away. Please don't look over here. Please. That chick was in that picture. In the motel room. Okay, you did it. My money don't jiggle, jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle, wiggle, for sure. And make me wanna dribble, dribble. You know, ride it in my fear. You really have to see it. The monster in this game is actually <laughs> really, really good. This game is really, really good. And for some reason, the almighty Dakbot decided not to sing the praises of the tribute to one of our fellow heroes, your dirty thought. But I see you out there, buddy. Tribute! From our dirty thought with the 99 cent super chat. Thank you, buddy. Tribute! It's Crystal, the girl that vanished. Tribute! I, I don't get it. Have they all disappeared? Is it a spy thing? Is the Godzilla's coming out? Tripping. I seen the movie. These paintings have known better days. Tribute. Tribute. What's up, Ladarius? I didn't know I needed fuses. Fighting communism. Wow. Don't tell me this is all about the Cold War. You're cool, Tom. Abort, abort, abort. I cannot tell you guys how close I was to pulling the trigger and buying a Swedish chef puppet. It was a little expensive, but... Just think of all the comedy. Because, you know, people love comedy on YouTube. That's why when I do anything besides play the game, they fight each other to leave. <laughs> Are there any maidens in here? No, I'm out. He must be about 25 or 30. This is not only about women. What's going on here? Brenda, get in here. We need a smart brain. What's up, Paul? How are you, buddy? You have several? That's why you're a chef? Folders. That makes a lot of paper. Uh, what is your spaghetti policy here? <laughs> it's me. They've got a file on me. Oh, crap. Never had anything like they it. It says it's mayonnaise, ketchup, and wash your sister's sauce. Did real. you just say There's wash your sister's right sauce? In this world. First off, you shouldn't be washing your sister's. I'm actually trying to pay attention to the game. It's good. It's a good game. I'm on my hands and knees again. Looks like this hole's made to fit a handle. Modern technology. 
When you pin perfect strangers on a wall, they're not strangers anymore. They mean some serious shit is going on. Jeez, who are these people? What happened to them? They got kidnapped. Files, archives, and folders. Some look older than my parents. Are you calling your parents old? For some reason, I can't get on this box. Do I need another box? The girl in the light that wouldn't turn on. The best-selling tragedy by Jade Lacroix. Nobody talks like that. Looks like this hole's made to fit a handle. Modern technology. Hmm. Handle, handle, handle. Porn tapes, schmutt. Handle, schmutt. I can't believe it. They even stole Tara's picture That's from That's Tara? Me. This is a pretty good game. I really, really like it. A lot. And I don't ever pay attention to horror games. This is a good game. This is a good game because it's trying something different. It's actually trying to tell a good story. The voice acting is immaculate. The puzzles aren't too hard. Of course, I'm stuck on this one. I tried that earlier. Whatever game. The sky doesn't look good. I guess the weather report was right. There is a storm coming. All right, we have electricity. So what's the purpose of me getting the fuses then? Find the handle, you find the handle. Okay, the path is clear. May I handle? I should be able to get this ladder down. I should. We found the handle. Okay, time to give some elbow grease. Let's give it a spin. It's a very neat game, but we haven't found a single anomaly yet. It needs some fuses. I've got some. One more fuse to go. Trapdoor's free. There's your way out, girl. You just need to get to it. Don't do that. Please, please, please. Go away. I do not know the story of this demon thing. No clue why it's hunting us. It's over. You're safe for now. You were boat wrong for that? Not sure where you <laughs> That wasn't cool. What's up, Dark Domain? I don't know where the thing is I'm looking for. I can't seem to get on the ladder. Burp, burp. I don't know why the game won't let me just get on the ladder and crawl up it for. Just let me on the ladder. Just. I guess because the door's not open? Hmm. Hmm. Oh God, no. What? Shit. He's coming. Don't move. Move the box Just upstairs. Don't move. Do you know about the panty raid? The panty raid. Gone. You know, the raid that takes part of 
head. Apparently I didn't deploy the ladder, even though I clearly deployed the ladder earlier. And I'm stuck here again. You see? He made it. Now get out of here quick. Hello, we Brian to Lee. The cops. Welcome what to our adventure, my friend. has a gun and is still sane. Maybe even write something about this if you survive. Yeah. Yeah. A bedroom? Ugh. It smells like nobody has ever opened a window here. Hey, David. Did you ever explain why you said that is this Scotty Blaze from three years ago? Because you look great. Are you saying I've looked like shit for the last three years? <laughs> you've did. <laughs> did you? <laughs> what the hell is that? It's like a half-eaten lamb out there in the middle of the ocean with this guy. Okay, so we crawled through a hatch, and now we're. I, I guess we're probably in the moat. I think you guys live to piss me off. You know I hate that blurb. Ah, I think this guy has never even heard of water. Yoink. This is surreal. Looks like an official document. We'll now begin the, the push-up section. Ready? Begin. Okay, sure. Down. In a pizza box? Up. Seriously? One. Hey, if this is a dream, would somebody please wake me up now? Hey, Scotty Blaze, have you ever played the game The Quarry? I have, and I didn't like it as much as most of the other games. It's that $99.99 from Brian Lee. It's time of month where I tell Scotty how much I love him while I'm wine drunk. <laughs> Tribute! Tribute! Brian is making confessions! Inside of the holy halls of Boomtown, while wine drunk, making the biggest tribute of the night to the great cause. That is justice. That is the League of Blades. Thank you so much to Brian Lee. Obligatory, as you say, once a month, pouring of the love fountain upon the fields of gold here. Thank you so much. I volunteer as tribute. I love uh, Jennifer. I forget her last name. I feel like she's a really down to earth Hollywood star that she don't really care about all the Hollywood hoodlabaloo. Thank you so much to Brian for the 99.99. Love you too, buddy. Always a pleasure to have you answer the beacon and join us here for a little adventure. Thank you. <clears throat> Jennifer Lawrence, that's her name. Yeah. I feel like she's pretty down to earth and cool. I feel like she'd be, I think she'd fit right in with all of us. Rifle cartridges. Huh. There are some missing. They probably match the gun I saw at the reception desk. She stopped acting because she felt like her hype was getting too strong. This guy's got a fly infestation. Oh, it's in the game. I didn't know she quit acting. I know I've not seen her in anything in a while. The last movie that I think she was in was that comedy where you guys said that she, she suplexed a dude while naked. We were talking about the other day, if you're willing to put your body out there during a fight scene. You know, you can stand and pose in certain lights and pose in certain ways that you can make your body look artificially better than it really is. Think Chris Pratt, which he, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying they're not Jack, but think Chris Pratt doing that weird standing still breathing scene after he got shot with the orange liquid in Guardians of the Galaxy. With the, the dripping effect and the light and everything, it made the body look better than it was, even though he was still jacked. Don't get me wrong. But Viggo Mortensen, in the movie Eastern Promises, he he's jacked from the front, but he has a fight scene in the movie Eastern Promises where he's a a Russian mafia hitman 
and he's in the bathroom taking a shower and he gets ambushed and they have because this tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again don't need me change my mind <laughs> he's jacked from the front but he gets into a fight and he's butt naked saggy balls flopping around wiener flopping around these two dudes flopping around there's nothing attractive about being naked in a knockdown drag out fight. So for her to, to have the self-respect to get into a fight scene where she suplexes a dude by naked. You've gotta you've gotta have some confidence. Welcome to the show, Jojo! Wow, that's one thriving bacteria farm. Who? Who the hell? Wiener party, party salty. Wiener wieners, nice and soft. Non erect. Wiener. Fluffing wien. I think my favorite part of this game so far might actually be the art. It's incredible. The art in this game is just nothing short of fantastic. I got dang Space Maiden out there kicking ass. With a lizard astronaut? That's just that's just awesome. There's nothing hot about that scene? I didn't say there was. I said it's awesome that you've got the... Okay. Scotty, I don't know where you, you're attracted to that. I didn't say... I was just commending them. There's beer in the bathroom cabinet. Where did I put that? Ooh. Here we go. Secret. secret tape mentioned in the secret letter in the mysterious pizza box. You've really got to respect somebody who's willing to put their body out there and not be ashamed of all the jiggling and wiggling and just awful angles you're going to catch when you're in the middle of a vicious cockfight. There's nothing attractive about that, Scotty. Piss off and shame. Wiener, Scotty Wiener, Scotty Wiener. All right, I found a tape. I didn't say you said it was hot. I'm just making a fucking statement. Ted. 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 Either this guy is a master cynic Ted. or a first-class patriot. I want to cosplay as Angel does. Ted did say a swear. Shame, shame. Wiener. Oh crap! Is that the record button? I didn't mean to push that button. Still nothing. Maybe broken or too much. Battery or dead. Escalated quickly. <laughs> too much. It's too late now. You got. You got let it rip. It's too late now. <laughs> oh, these batteries. No batteries. I knew it. It's always the batteries. There's my grandpa, Chief Sit and Squat. I mean, ugh, there's my grandpa, One Eye Droop. Chief One Eye Droopy. Huh. Hope I haven't missed anything good. Mm, I doubt it. Chief flopping like wolves? Why do wolves flop? I didn't say you said it was hot. I was just making a fucking statement. <laughs> Dad! It was only in sleep mode. Oh. Okay. Hey, Is this the right size? 
I think it is. Oh, please tell me it is. I didn't say you were making fun of Native Americans. I was just correcting. And I need you. And I miss you. I didn't say you like Rob Zombie. I was just making an inclination of 90s music. One battery's missing. Mm. Gotcha. Two batteries. I've definitely never been this lucky uh, today. Oh, great. Give me another reason to freak out. Ted don't cuss much. He's a respectful funny man. Ain't I Jade LaCroix? They sound military, but like twisted military. I'm being hunted by my own country in my own country. What do I do? Surrender's not an option, huh, Tara? Well, I can still use this to create some kind of diversion. Don't know who's writing this crazy story, but I better not die in it. What in the world is going on in this game anybody get that number eight six seven five three zero something five one two i got that i think Try to swear like me, respectfully. You're a littleness than me. Oh yeah. I try not to cuss Man, anymore than I have this guy's to. About to tear the desert apart. I had to quote Ted, otherwise I wouldn't have cussed once tonight. Thanks a lot, Ted. I was on a no cuss streak, and then Ted had to just snap for whatever Hours reason. Of recordings, all the rooms. Must be all the clients for some reason, the us picking on Jennifer Lawrence really got under Ted's skin. She's a beautiful woman. So? Man, I am in deep trouble. Hey, Poopy. This is Wesley Argos, Ground 2 agent, code 658. Yes, we've got a problem. The new girl, Jade LaCroix, she's pulling away from the path. No, no, she's restless. Thank you, Jojo. It's like she's running away from something. But I don't know what's happening to her. It's been a month since Crystal Hugens crossed the threshold, and that's too long. She's hey, got to go to the end of the pilgrimage. What? Listen, listen. I'm paid to do one job, and that's to make sure LaCroix gets to the destination. What do you want exactly? Another disaster like at 63? Yes, I'll take care of it, but I'm going to need backup. Sent Taylor. Someone might be helping the girl. It's us. We're helping. Hey, Charles. You actually got the Facebook notification today? It's the craziest thing, man. I hardly ever tell anybody I'm live on Facebook. I just go live almost every day on YouTube. Welcome back, friend. Somehow, the Blade Beacon got through all the online nonsense and made it to our long-lost hero, Charles. I am not going back down Welcome there. Welcome back, buddy. Can this actually be real, Tara? Makes me think you of got your the Scotty glare. I don't glare at people. News. I I did my entire law enforcement career. I was very good at getting people to confess to stuff because I have a very bad RBF. So when we when we would do interviews, 
I would come and I would sit down and I wouldn't talk for most of the interview. I would ask a question and then I'd listen to their answer and then I would just sit there for a minute. So what were you doing on the 23rd? See how I rolled my eyes back and forth like I was trying to figure out if I believed them or not and what direction I wanted to go with that question? It sows doubt into the person that you're talking to and it makes them more anxious. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Shit, there he is. Oh, he's... He's talking about me. What the hell? I'm no one. I'm nothing. I'm not even a great writer. Oh, Tara, 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 help me. Brian Drunk donated? He did. I would be likely to say something like I was doing your mom. <laughs> See, that would get me tickled. I probably couldn't interview you because I'd be laughing so much. So what were you doing the other night? I was doing your mom. All right, well. Your Honor, I don't care. This guy, he gets any credit for cooperation. None. Throw the book at him. Give him 30 years to life. Good luck in prison. Don't bend over. Hope you like Mercer and staff. Because it's rampant there. Secret tunnels! He's after me. Oh, is this really happening? I can't just walk out. I think, Jade, you have to find a safe way out of here. Think! I love Scotty when I'm sober. Ah. <laughs> ah, you're too good to me. Back down the hole. Not back down the hole. Out the window. Not out the window. Through the poop chute. Through the tunnel. Through this thing. Through that thing. Uh, okay, gun. Throw a beer at him. Turn the radio on. Back down the hatch. Turn on the TV, flip that, nothing there, nothing there, nothing in the blankets, the American flag. There's always a gun or money in the holy bribal. Ammo there. Mm. Hold on a sec. What if... What, you gonna send an email? Yeah, oh. that might work. It could fail too, but oh, come on, Jade, just do it. You don't reckon the phone number is that number they gave us, do you? Five. One. Two. Three. Nine. Nine. Eight. Nine. Nine. Oh, yeah, that's it. Good job, girl. I did it. Desk. I can't stay here. Gotta hurry. Something's changed. This isn't the world that it was when I came out. We'd like to remind you of some coming. basic rules to apply <sighs> in case of a massive sandstorm. Doors, shutters, and windows must be sealed. In case of violent winds, stay in the safest room, if possible, in your basement. Do That's not hesitate me. to take water and food with you, cards and games for children, ten. and Wait. even a good beer to I'm enjoy this moment. You'll soon be back outside what? enjoying a beautiful We're blue sky others. and your barbecue. My car is gone. He was putting up the missing oh, girl posters. 
You're not I think safe I trust him. here. They're going to hurt you. You need to come with me. Gets head snipe. Come on, Jade. We need to get out of here now. All right, stranger. to tell you. I need you hey, alive. Stop right there. You're Help. going nowhere, you hear me? Oh you shit. Can't leave. No, 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 not this. Jade. You got to trust me. Oh, oh my this. god. I don't want to die. I'm out of Let here me now. in. Episode 4, The Seeker. Am I still alive? Am I hurt? Oh, I guess not. Did he get nice shot? Nice job back there. Oh, he, oh my god, he got hit. Uh, it was a close call. <coughs> it's okay. It's just a hole, right? No, we'll pour through your organs. Nice Hugans. mustache, Hitler. <laughs> Gary Hugens. That's my name. Hey, you're related to the other girl. I'm the one Crystal who Hugens. On the phone. We don't have much time. You're doing a good job anyway. Thank you. You're resisting them. It drives them crazy. They're not used to it. We lost them for the moment. But they won't let you leave. Listen, this, all this, could be it's yours. a very old story. No one wants to tell. The motel, this military base of the desert, the experiments they did back there in the 60s. What? Thousands of people who disappeared without a trace. <coughs> it's all connected. For a long time, I've thought the army was behind this. But no, it is way older. People go into the desert never to be seen again. Who's driving? <laughs> it's a sort of pilgrimage, but with no return ticket. You think the government would try to stop this? Uh. <laughs> they just stand there. Gary watching. going to die? I don't think Gary's doing too good. Making sure everything goes the way they want. That mustache pretty well means he's evil. It's job. That pig. Uh, 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 uh. Gary. Uh, uh, uh. Good job. Good job. Really good job. Good job. Good job, Gary. Even Gary's subtitles aren't looking good. I've never been shot in the gut, but I've been stabbed in the gut. I know. Is this signs? What about this scene right here, Jen? Now listen, I want to take this opportunity. A lot of people commented tonight on how smart you are. What are you friggin' doing that for? You're just gonna die. Yeah, you dummy, you idiot. You just gonna die, Gary. A lot of people have commented about how smart you are, how sharp you are. Not a dull blade sharply tell me what about this particular scene right here makes you think or remind you of the movie sign i cannot wait to hear your answer secret mustache secret mustache secret mustache weird little they said that you're funny and that was funny I don't think anything's funny if you laugh at your own <laughs> If you laugh at your own joke. The missing persons posters. I can't imagine what Gary's going through. Crystal huge ones. Crystal huge ones. You think you're so funny, but you not, honey. How'd P. Diddy get to my stream? He should be in jail right now. Okay, now we got water. I didn't know we didn't need water. Okay, we gotta fix Gary's hole. The storm's not over yet. I can't tell where we are. Who's driving? He did he's on the run? Oh, I didn't know he was on the run. He did he flew to Africa? No kidding! I didn't know that. I haven't really been paying attention. I just, everywhere on my YouTube feed today, it's just... PDD this, PDD that. 
I know enough to know that he's in trouble. I didn't know he flew to Africa. Jerry must have spent a good lot of time in here. That's all he has left. They can't touch me in Africa. He's in a state of shock. I need to find him water. There, there's water. We'll get... I'm insane with anger! He's hurt. I don't know what to do. Is there water here? There's the water. I need to find a cup. I don't think drinking water is going to help his bullet hole in his stomach, but I know. But did he do it? Well done. I don't know. I'm not paying attention to the case whatsoever. I don't really care. I just know he's in trouble. I didn't know he flew to Africa. That's interesting. Very interesting. I've, ne I've actually never transported or extradited anybody from Africa, so I have no idea if they have extradition there or not. Probably not. Look at where he went. He's in a state of shock. I need to find him water. There's the water. What do I do with it? What do I do with the water? What do I do with the water? Cup? Yeah, yeah, Christ. probably a cup, but I don't know where a cup is. So she's gone for good. And I was next. Oh, that's his daughter. I thought it was his sister. They do have extradition laws. Then why did he go to Africa? Because they'll just get on there and get him. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna need this. Paris. Do you remember Tara? Tara's not here. Only gruel. Here you go. This water will stop your bleeding. Crystal. I know her story. Twenty-three years old. He went to bless the rain. <laughs> her life was all about art, drawing. <laughs> she learned from her mother, who was a painter. <laughs> a normal passion for a normal girl. <laughs> My little girl. Her mother died six months ago. That was dumb, but hilarious. <laughs> I never managed to fill the void. I was demolished. I didn't see her slip away from me. Now she's gone. I lost them both. But that's how it works, you see. The people who come here, they all lost something. Someone. They felt the call. <coughs> and I feel it too, okay. deep inside. Me and you, we're here for a reason. But you need to keep fighting. Life is worth it. What's wrong with his butt? Scotty, did you ever have the Xbox 360 Red Ring of Death? Yes. That's why I never bought an Xbox ever again. The Xbox 360 that I had, not everybody. I know that was a pretty common thing. For a 360 owner my best friend had a 360 never had a problem with it ever my 360 i sent it to microsoft on three different occasions i sent it once they sent it back refurbished with parentheses and drugs are bad you shouldn't do drugs if you do them you're bad 
because drugs are bad, okay? It's a bad thing to do drugs, so, so don't be bad. Don't be bad, okay? The, I, it broke down again. I sent it back a second time. They sent me back a whole new 360 that was refurbished. It wasn't mine, which pissed me off. Really pissed me off. That 360 was important to me. It was my 360. There are many 360s like it, but this one's mine. So they sent me back another one that pissed me off, and then that one broke, and I said never again. I am never... I had a terrible time with Xbox. And I never bought an Xbox after that. That could have been a... Oh my god, would you look at that quaff? Queef? Same, yeah. Uh, my best friend had a 360. Never had a problem. My PlayStation 5 controller, this is my fourth controller for my PS5. Every single one of them have had stick, stick, uh, stick drift. Now, he's a super duper Sony fanboy. And pretty much, if you don't like Sony, F you is his stance on PlayStation. So anytime I bring it, my like, controller don't work, he gets defensive. He doesn't have stock in Sony. He don't work for Sony. But he gets defensive and plumb side himself pissed off when I talk about how mine doesn't work. I don't take a side. I'm just telling you the facts. I, this is my fifth controller, fourth controller, and they've all not worked. Come on. Oh, damn, he's heavy. All right, time to start plugging some holes. Remember, Jade, you learned once you know how to do this. Yeah, start. So you open up this hole and you, to the beat of the Bee Gees. Ha, 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 Bella. You blow into his hole. Come on, Gary, I've never seen someone die and I don't plan to now. Well, he got shot in the stomach and you gave him water. No, stay with me, Gary, stay. I need to thank you. <sighs> There's something in the desert. Don't go there. Leave. Get as far away as possible from this place. Hall effect? Never had a stick drift or broken control on any console here. of like 25 controllers. I, yeah, I, my, my best friend hasn't either. Me, all sound. four controllers don't work. Uh, my hair looks awesome. You guys have been bragging on me tonight. You know what David said earlier? David said, is this the Scotty Blaze from three years ago? Because you look fantastic tonight. Which, you know, does that mean for the last three years I've looked like shit? Talk about my self-esteem. Thank you. Tara! How you doing today? I've seen the doctor. He told me you're doing better. He says you're fighting You look three right, years baby. younger? <laughs> you're kicking ass. You're my badass, honey girl. All terror don't make it. Gary! You got a haircut since I saw you last? Oh, yeah, I did get a haircut a couple of days ago. Gary! Yeah. Well, I mean, it looks like shit now because my hat's... Or my hat. My headphones have squished it all out of whack. But yeah. Gary! You know what I appreciate about SpongeBob? How it's not connected to any of this Dan Schneider shit from Nickelodeon. And you know, it's a it's a dang shame that Nickelodeon is in panic mode and trying to give all these people hush money. <laughs> Please don't mention what happened in the 90s. And SpongeBob just over here just... I'm really angry! Fury. Gary! He's dead. <sighs> Oh, my head. You let Gary bleed out I, because you gave him water after oh, he got shot. Gary. Oh, I'm Man so sorry. Man rolled over and died. Yeah, he did. How did it end like this? Well, he got shot, and you gave him water, and he bled out on the ground, holding a picture of his dead daughter. Pretty well summed it up. And Jen said that this reminded her of, quote, signs. The worst seems to have passed. Well, Gary died. Gary! Why did you have to go? Guess I'll just pop a squat here. Remember when SpongeBob called the entire... 
Remember when SpongeBob called the entire state of Texas stupid? Savages. Your meow right now would sound like music to me. Please come home, cause I miss you, Gary. This RV's not the same without you. It's just a couch. It's just a gooey spew without you. Love you, Gary. Door's locked. Dang it. There must be a key somewhere. Probably in the dead guy's pocket. There's no key on him. Never mind. Nothing. Mm, if I was a dead guy, where would I keep my key? Secret key! Secret key! In the butthole! Secret, 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 secret! That's the year the experiment of this special ground two began. Huh. An important date in the history of bad ideas. Mm hmm. Can I move the chair to where I can get out the sunroof? I hope you found your father. He's a good guy. She's dead, and he is too. You're weird. <laughs> I've been on a hell of a metal kick recently, and that just... That fluffed my jar my, my, my jargons up. Uh oh. Boner alert. Ever listen to Gojira? Not out of habit, but yeah, I've heard of them. They're pretty good. I, well, I should say I should say they're pretty good. I, I think they're all right. I, they're not. I don't go out of my way to listen to them. <laughs> Sound like Lamb of God, but it's not. My name is Richard and I'm sitting on a rock. That definitely sounds like some boat ride music right there. Oh, hey Scotty, let me let me play my boat ride rock and roll. My name is Richard and I'm sitting on a rock. A little nay ob ob No wonder they're not famous. If you can't pronounce her name, you know how easy it is to say Nickelback? Hey guys, we're Black Splaga Splaga. And you're listening to 1065 The End. Nerd Debra Slapper Fab. What a stupid name. <laughs> You know how easy it is to say Creed? <laughs> 1065, which end? Whatever end you want it in, babe. I am the key master. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. I've only got two rules on this channel. There's not many. I've only got two rules. Don't troll me about my audio. Don't bring up Jesus. <laughs> I 
I've only got two rules. They're, it's not hard. Just two rules. You better have a friend in Jesus. You out here blaspheming, yelling the F word. <laughs> I never said Jennifer Lawrence is hot. This be it. Okay. Be brave, Jade. You're not a little girl anymore. I never said no Jennifer one. Lawrence was hot. I thought, well, at least the storm's gone. Need to find the road now. Oh, crap. Oh, God, I'm exhausted. I want to disappear into your arms, Tara. I need your fingers walking up and down my spine. What? No maidens. Hey, you took good care of us in the middle of that storm. Watch over Gary for me, okay? Please. He's dead, and that's a... You're weird. I hear weird. You're talking to inanimate objects saying, take care of a dead guy for me. Huh. No one. I thought... Well, at least the storm's gone. Need to find the road now. Oh, God, I'm exhausted. I want to disappear into your arms, Tara. I need your fingers walking up and down my spine. Hot. Do you see that comment, Ted? He's probably asleep. Ted is a friend of mine. Shut the fuck up. Ted is a friend of mine. Scotty, I said shut the fuck up. Ted is a friend of mine. I'll kill you right now. Well, I wasn't expecting this, but... It's better than square miles of sand, I guess. Who the heck tied my dream catcher that my girlfriend made to this cactus? Wait, I, I recognize this. That's your it's cactus. Tara's dream catcher. It belongs in my car. Why is it here? Symbiotes make you horny? Hot. Uh, what was the number that was in that? Jojo, you pay attention when we're playing games. I'm not going to go back to the RV because I know that the cerebral superhero that is Jojo is out there taking notes. And Jojo, of course, was not doing anything besides paying complete 100% attention to the broadcast and to the adventure. And she knows what the code to this is because she wrote it down from the note the newspaper inside the RV. Never mind. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda got it. It is 1961, I believe. Well done, Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. You wouldn't have to be related to the Brady Bunch, would you? Brenda Brady? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! Web Talks thinks that the code is 1234. Bless your heart. 1961. Ryan thinks the code is 8675309, even though it's only four digits. What's up? Let's try, Jade, but no. You were one digit off. Oh, too bad. I kind of hoped I wouldn't make it. Krim and... Tom thinks that the code is 6969. Why am I crawling down this hole? Why don't I get in this car and drive off? Now I have to go down there. There's no Brenda on the Brady go? Bunch? No.
You win this one, Internet. I came running out of the shower with soap in my hair here, and Scotty need my help. Thanks, Brenda. I'm going to go lather, rinse, and repeat. Oh, yeah, you take care of yourself. There was a Brenda in sign. Nice try, Internet. Not this time. Brenda Lee was it in abandoned. it? It smells like old chemical stuff. I might be poisoning myself right now. Huh. Just another casual hike through the desert. Why are you in the desert? <laughs> Help! found yourself another lovely place, girl. It looks abandoned. It's back. It's coming. We still don't know the story behind what's up with this monster. Like a good old bowl of frosted mini wheats tonight. Okay, you did. Imagine having to restart at the beginning. I wouldn't. I'd have quit. We are two and a half hours into this game, and I'm. <laughs> could you imagine if I had to start over? I wouldn't. I'd just be. I'd be done. Blades and bladies, returning from the field of battle covered in the blood of our enemies ghouls and ghosts and goblins and all the monsters Cody Gilstrap has returned to us in the Hall of Heroes to once again claim the mantle of Blade Master 12 months he has served diligently thank you Cody the other Blade Masters let their eagles fly in celebration of the return of another one of their fellow blade masters. Tribute! A tribute to the League of Blades! $5 from Cardi Gilstrap to 12 months. A whole year of kicking ass from Cardi Gilstrap. Thank you, my friend. Tiny keyhole. Locked. Why are you locked? Why don't you just trust me? 
Thank you for supporting the League of Blades. Thank you for your donation. Thank you. Finish the story? What story? Which one? Lucky at number 13. Marcelo has sworn their allegiance once again. 13 months as a tier three member of the Blade Masters. A member of the Blade Guard, or better known as Scotty Blade's best friend. Thank you so much, buddy. What story was I? What story was I telling? Oh, that was for Cody? I got you. Green light means it must be With right. the great the big hug and Just a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? The ever awesome and beautiful JoJo, who I thought was in the shower rinsing off. No amount of water and self cleansing activities can keep her from bringing us a new Blade Master into the fold. As we must now welcome. What is up with my cursor? We must now welcome Maxim Usanagi to the Hall of Heroes. Eagles fly! Thank you for the gifted member. Thank Notice you for the me, Senpai. Oh, I know that you are. Thank you for being somebody else's hero. Thanks for being a hero in the community. Taking care of somebody else. Very kind of you. Senpai. Where you been, Lord Frieza? We were just talking about you the other day. It's, it's been a couple of months since we've seen you. Welcome back. The Blade Signal has found a lot of people tonight. Okay. And some super dogs to be passed around. A little hero power up. The blade dogs. 50% steroids. 50% human growth hormone. All battle tested and proven to make you a better slayer of evil. It's a meal in itself. Our all-meat super dog. Enjoy one now. No worry about Robin. She comes and goes. I saw her a couple, two or three days ago. She comes and goes. She has these little stints where she's gone for a week or two, and then she comes back for two or three days pretty hard, and then she's gone for about a week or so. She comes back. Always does. smell uh copper burning twenty dollars from Jeremy D Watson soup soup one second Oh yeah, she's super talented. Sorry, I, just, I had to make sure my computer wasn't on fire. <laughs> my old ass computer ain't cutting it no more. Jeremy, talk about some- Sucking on, chili dog. Sucking on a dog, sucking on a chili dog. It was a candle. Hey, Maxim. Okay. So I said, talk about sucking on a chili dog, and Maxim, the first thing he says is, hi. <laughs> Tribute! Did you feed the hamsters? Yeah, my hamsters are fine. They're fine. 
It uh, somebody blew out a candle in the house. I just wanted to make sure that it was legitimate. I'd hate for everything to catch on fire while the stream was going. The hamsters are fine. The hamsters are fine. There are so many tributes. The blade of power is wrong tonight. Tribute! Heroic deeds! Heroic deeds! A candle in the wind? No, uh... We got a reed nook that we put in the corner of the house. and We like to sit there and read by candlelight. And then at this time of night, the moon's shining down through the window. I like it. If you don't like it, you can eat the deepest part of my ass. <laughs> Sitting there, drinking a glass of whiskey, just wearing gym shorts, that's it. Reading a book, candle flickering. <laughs> Do we? That's bad for their eyes? The moon, the candle, or me shirtless? Zach Buck with the 10 bones. Thank you for your tribute to the League of Blades. Jeremy Watson spraying soup all over the place. Thank you for your tribute to the League of Blades. Oh my cabbages! Thank you all. Thank you all so much. Reading by candlelight. It, you, we're not just I can't see the book just on candlelight. I also have a... If I want to read by candlelight, that's what I'm going to do. Sucking off. Oh God, no. <laughs> mm, thank you, guys. Thank you, Zachary B. Jeremy D. Papa sitting there reading Final Game Fantasy VII. Over. Papa sitting there reading Final Fantasy VII adult what fan is fiction. This? Bunker? That smell. Oh. You found yourself another lovely place, girl. I've never read Final Fantasy adult fan fiction, but I have read Dragon Ball adult fan fiction. His power level is over 69. <laughs> so I guess the the monster is broken. Reading the Skyrim strategy guide, I've done that before too. What is this? Bunker? How'd you get cornered? That smell. Tribute. Seven dollars from George are definitely not about George. Honk band on the lady. <laughs> George, George. Tribute! Another hero gives tribute in honor of the League of Blades. The League is on fire tonight. Truly they are. Truly they are. Thank you so much. For the se <laughs> honk, honk. For the seven bones. There's nothing wrong with, uh, that's it. I think it's time the action justice comes out. $10 from Lord Frieza. These pants don't, hang on. The original first day stream. The original Acts of Justice. Obsidian. 
Look at that. That's from Hit Metal. <laughs> Run, children. Thank you, Lord Frieza. We missed them changing pants. I'm wearing pants, but these pants don't fit, so they slide off of me a bunch. Did you hear about the Dragon Ball theme park that's being built? I think it's in Saudi Arabia. Why the hell are they building the Dragon Ball theme park in Saudi Arabia? Lord Frieza, thank you. Thank you for your tribute to the League of Blades. Thank you for supporting. It looks abandoned. It the smells of like old chemical stuff. I might be poisoning myself right now. Huh. Just another casual hunt through the desert. Tribute! What's up, Nine random guys? $9.99 cents from Jen Two Boobs Curtain. Let's keep it going, me. Keep an ending and that's a good going z z d g z b n z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z for your tribute. Thank you for supporting the League of Blades. And thank you for doing whatever it was that you did to Biden. Let's keep it going. Biden's in there. Thank you very much. You broke Dak, indeed. Fifty dollars from Jeremy D. Watson. Pump it up, some city. <laughs> Pump it up. I don't know how to get past the monster. There's nowhere to hide. Tribute. Four dollars ninety-nine cents from Melvin Millennial. This is not the greatest super chat in the world. No, this is just a tribute. Lovely place, girl. The blade beacon can be seen far and wide. From the tribute given here tonight on this adventure of the League of Blades. Melton coming through with the five bones. Jeremy D. Watson really likes his soup. It's a good soup. It's a hearty soup. It's a smooth and satisfying soup. It's a soup that inside of that soup, the veggie and meat ratio is perfect. And the heat of that soup and that soup guaranteed to give you a plus seven in your strength modifier. It's that kind of soup. It never spoils. It never rots. That's what I appreciate about you. That we have good soup, blade soup, a Watson soup special. Thank you so much for the tributes. Take my coin. Pray. Ten dollars from David Myrtle Merle Pray. Take my coin or is it? Tribute. David makes tribute to the League of Blades. Pray. Take my coin. What Your coffers this? will be put towards oh, the armory. That smell. Ugh. Your coffers. Ugh. You found yourself another lovely place, girl. We'll be put, we'll be put to reinforcing the abandoned. battlements. It smells like old chemical stuff. Oh, there it goes. I might be poisoning myself right now. Huh. Just another casual hunt through the desert. 
through the desert. Through the mountains. Secret, secret, secret. Leave me alone. He's coming. came from no more reading by candlelight now you can afford that electric bill thank you guys thank you guys yeah it's been tough eating watson soup and reading books by candlelight but thanks to the power and the tributes of the world's greatest group of heroes ever assembled papa blades tonight Get roll that beautiful bean footage Papa Blades tonight. It's over. You're safe for now. Can put some nudes in his hot chicken broth. Maybe next week I can put meat in it. But I make sacrifices. Ten dollars from Jared Magic Man Johnson rolled up. I'm not wearing any pants. Why? And where? And how? And who? Tribute! A heroic tribute. Green light means from not any blade master. Just need the card. <laughs> a man yes. of magic. Nonetheless, please, magic man, tell me, what school of magic do you partake in? Is it invocation? Are you a master of illusion? Are you really good at making soup? Pray do tell. Pray. Jesus. One small key for me, but one huge step forward towards Jesus freedom. is a friend of mine. I really yeah. like soup. Jesus is a friend of mine. Give me more soup, please. We need it. We need answers, Jared. If you're the magic man, pray do tell. What school of magic? Do you practice? You eat soup in the nude? What? Now that is something that I would do if I was drunk and horny. Another locked door. This is a card reader, so I guess I need to find a... I can't think of an occasion when I would eat soup naked. I don't like soup, but I do enjoy a good ramen. Yes, a good ramen. Don't like soup. Oh, don't make me beg now. Come on, Zach. Oh. You like a good ramen. You're a master of protrusion. I like a good stupid soup. What's your problem, Milton? <laughs> oh, you're saying soup is stupid. Because I said I don't like soup. You're the best supporter ever. No matter what I say, you blame it. Man. I cut myself in aluminum foil today. Stupid foil! I got this key, but I don't know what to open with it. Oh yeah, this That's thing. It. Look who is hiding in there. Got it. William T. Davis, physicist. You've never been to a real Ooh, ramen place? Real it will disappoint you. Still smells of tobacco. Do you like cheap ramen? If you're just so-so about cheap ramen, then going to an authentic ramen place is going to disappoint you. If you crave ramen, then going to a ramen place will make you enjoy good ramen. The first time I went to an authentic ramen, Robin, the first time I went to an authentic ramen place in Manhattan, I was disappointed. I was like, this just tastes like the same ramen that I get from Walmart. That's what ramen tastes like. And then I had another ramen that was shrimp and kale. Holy crap. Was that good? That's it. Just like in sci-fi movies. Except I could really die in this one. 
If you sleep in pants, you're a crazy person. Last night, I tossed and turned until I took my pants off, and then I went to sleep like a baby. Scotty doesn't wear pants in his sleep. Doesn't wear pants. You'd spill hot sleep. You like a good broth? I do too. Where am I? You're in the desert, Got same no place map. you was before. You're supposed to be my map, Tara. You always have been. She's dead. And now I'm lost. Nightblade! Feel my legs. Damn sand, like a vicious caress under my feet. The midnight hour <sighs> is upon us. Going. The witch's hour. It's a cemetery. Not Christian. Native American. What? Timbisha? I don't mean to disturb anybody, just passing through. You should pick out one of the skulls and piss in it. We hunt the Midnight Lesbian Society, aka the Graveyard Crew, aka the Night Blades, has made it to the Witching Hour. Looks like. Yeah, it can be removed. Here we are. What kind of place is this? The desert. The are old. They're pretty loose. I'm loose. Hope I get laid. Hope I get laid. Secret tunnel. This is no time to get a splinter in my finger. That kind of right, I guess I got what I'm looking faint. for. Great. Now that's the problem with this world. There's always a lock on something. Only in horror games. Okay, no more chance of my frying my butt on that fence. Got to get to the end of this thing. Which way's the end? Not that I want to be pessimistic, but uh, I'll never fit through here. Not that I want to be pessimistic, but uh, I'll never fit through here. Well then, fill back the... Fill back the... fence. Not that I want to be pessimistic, but uh, I'll never fit through here. You didn't even try it. You pessimist. Be optimistic. That's right, lady. Lady. You didn't even try. What the hell? I need the tool, I bet. Done. Time to get to the other side. Then why did I put the tool Not down? Sure I already had it. be greener there, but uh, hey. At least sand is equally disappointing from wherever you look at it. Also, if you get sand in vagina, you'll make a pearl. So this is special ground too. Looks like this place was really confidential back then. Before they all ran away from it. Why? Gary said they messed up. Whatever it was they were doing here, they decided to stop interfering. And keep watching from the motel. <laughs> Is that what we called it? Gucci Pearl? Didn't we call it Gucci Pearl? Who's this? Baby? Tara, is that really you? Or is it one of those dreams? Oh, we call it Gucci Pebble. Finish. I'll try to get to you. So this is why people come here. This is where they go. Alright, how do I get to you? Luke, search your heart. You know it to be true. Come here, you. I'm your father. No! That's impossible! They were studying this place. I don't even know what's Upsetting going on. Upsetting it. Did they create that thing that's been following me? Woke it up by mistake? Or on purpose? Oh. Did they think my life was so boring that it needed something like this? <laughs> Gucci Pebble. I think we call it Gucci Pebble. Is 
No, no, we called it Cooter Pebble. Cooter Pebble. Mm, zone two. The doors have the same indicator. What's that? It's coming. I like your haircut. Thank you. It's hard to believe that I looked like this just a few months ago. Not even a few months ago. I looked like this, like what? A month ago? Look in the description of the YouTube video, which is the Blade brochure, the Blade itinerary. You will see that we're playing this game called, and then we're going to play Poop Killer Six, and then we're going to play another game called, and then uh, it'll probably be midnight, and then we'll fire up another game at midnight. <laughs> I don't even know what game we're playing. Can you believe us? What I used to look like. Less than a month ago. Yeah, it's Mary. I did. Where's the hidey hole? Oh, right. That's right. The box. Please, please, please. China blade? Uh-uh. Get the hell back to where you came from. Bear blade? My only gripe with this game is how the goat person survived this long without food and water. There. Me too. I know Please it's a demon. It's really gone. But my gripe also is how has this demon lived so long the without have the same what indicators. humans need? Food and water. Tailed Fox 89! Welcome to the League of Blades. It's unlocked now. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for subscribing! Thanks for scribbling. What do demons feed off of? Well, it's according to what kind of demon we're dealing with here. Demons, if they're killed on the material plane, just reform in the hell plane, however you want to say it, in the abyss. And the most common reference to demons so it's kind of like when dr strange astral projects they don't really need anything while they're here i don't know what they eat in hell or the abyss a key okay they say that only he who already knows what's behind the door has the right to open it everybody know need demons need waters <laughs> i say who cares let's go Everybody knows demons need water. Let's ask Jensen Ankles. Fuck that guy. He's an actor. He's never done anything cool his whole life. Besides act. He's not real. He's a fake. He acted like he was doing cool shit. I actually did that cool shit. He's a fake. A phony. Do demons have sexual desires? 
Um, the Chaos God Sladesh from Warframe is the demon deity of perfection and not lust. Perfection and not gluttony. Warframe? Nah, Warhammer. Is that a new flannel? Uh-uh. I've had this flannel for a while. Desire? Is it desire? I know it's perfection and something else. Demons are horny, but not for sex that we know it. I hope you guys will write this down in the Book of Blades because these are questions that need answers that other people are going to ask when they're out slaying demons. Somebody's going to whip out the Book of Blades and go, there's no doubt the Monster Compendium in the Book of Blades will tell me about demons. And when they open it, it's just going to be a picture of Tim Allen. Oh! And then they're going to shake their fist. Jen! Because Jen technically is writing the Book of Blades. All of you guys are contributing to it, but technically Jen's writing it. Jen! Round two, you're here. Oh, this stuff is quick. How do we slay this demons? Too Open much the book of blades. Man, flip to I demons. Weird things, but oh? this. Wait. If ground two is there, what are those other spots? Russia. Do you still keep a book of quotes? Africa. Yeah. Okay. Later. Danny Pearman, who was the first mod I ever had. For three years, watched every single stream and kept a notebook. I'm not joking. He kept notebooks full. He would just write down quotes every show. And he, he was a, a truck driver, so he could only watch it at certain hours. So in the morning, while he was waiting for his truck to get loaded, he would sit and laugh in British. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And he would read, or he would listen to uh, the stream and write down all the lines. Where is he now? He still watches the show. He, he was on the, he watched a couple days ago. But he's British, so he doesn't normally get to catch the night streams live. He watches them the next day while he's waiting in his truck. He had to stop being a mob because he had to take extra shifts for personal stuff he had going on at work. But he still watches the show. He was just in here a couple days ago. Mm. Did anything happen when I came in here? I have completely lost all idea of what's going on in this game. It went really off the, tr the, the rails. To the point where I don't know what's going on and I don't care. Nicholas Leo, Got geologist. It. Bridge path. Tiny black spots on this one. Is it ink or some weird alien substance? We should plan a show during the time he can watch. That's that's the show that he came and watched a couple days ago. When we were playing Dragon's Dogma around 1 p.m. So 1 p.m. is like... It's like 6 p.m. his time. He sat down for supper and started to watch. Baby? Tara, is that really you? 7 p.m.? Or is it one of those dreams? Is it six hours Please ahead? Finish. I'll try to get to you. to do with all this. Birdie. I thought he was five hours ahead of me. Oh yeah, East Coast? Yeah. I thought he was five hours ahead of me. It activates the bridge, but there's no power. No, 
something's missing. Why is this so complicated? Oh. Look at an engineer. How the hell am I supposed to know? Oh. I needed a bridge pass. I don't know what to do. Good night, buddy. Tell the same man we said hi. It's off, so I guess that means no power, doesn't it? Thanks for slaying with us. You saw Dot? Oh, yeah. I feel pretty confident the one in the middle needs to be halfway because of the half and half. <laughs> was there dots on the card? Actually, I think there was. It said black dots were on it. Shit. Now I can't look at it. I may have effed it. Can't read Braille? Yeah, I wish a Trey was here. He knew what to do. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Alright. I don't know how to do this. No. It can only be so many combinations, so let's let's try up, up, up. See if that works. Nothing. Up, up, middle. Nothing. Up, up, down. Nothing. Shoot it. I don't have a gun. Middle up, up. Nothing. Middle, middle up. Nothing. There could be 27 combos. Shit, I've already forgot what they are. Down, up, up. Okay. She did say something about the power. Which I'm guessing has got something to do with this combination of levers. What do you need to power on first? Isn't that the thing that makes the power? Argos and the other little soldiers behind this. Yeah, I need something clean. This game has been an absolute... It's been fun, but this thing is once again suffering from the horror tropes of where I can't just advance the story of the game because I'm having to the door is locked how do I get around the door don't try to resist instructions this might be useful alright so it's up I don't like sand it's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere it gets everywhere Anakin's such a bitch a crowbar <laughs> first time I've ever handled one of these I get to have it. Such a treat. 
Okay, this is the beginning of something. What? Okay, we got power. Did I do that? Must mean power's coming back soon. Power! I'm coming! Whatever your name is, Rebecca. Hayden Christensen's a treasure. He's fine. He's fine. I don't got no qualm with him. Jade? It's me, baby. Tara. I never wanted to hurt you, you know? It's you. Your fear did this. It turned me into a monster. I hate this thing. Ah, but it's gonna I, be okay I made you now. that. I know. You were afraid. I made you By that. By running away from me, you were running away from the past. Did you like this, guys? You can see the truth with wide open eyes, Did and we like can be them? together again. I won't abandon you this time. I promise. It's a crater, you know. It's extraordinary what it does. I was floating into darkness, and then it made me come back for you, Jade. Okay. You decided to make a monster of me, but hey, nobody's perfect. The crater is not a bad thing. It's a door. A thousand doors, actually. It doesn't kill. It just changes the way things are. It's gonna be all right. We can still be together. But you need to trust me. I know it's not easy after all that's happened, but... Let's leave all this madness behind. The dark days are over. It's a new life. You just have to follow me. It's now, babe. It's your call. I'm coming. I can't stay here, Jade. You need to decide. Come with me or say goodbye. Oh. That's how the game ends. I don't get to catch her. I can't think of the name Tara without thinking of Tara Reed. No, no, I don't want to be here. Stop messing with my head, whatever you are. Stop <laughs> yeah. it. Sleep well, my love. How many times did I say these words to you? Sleep well, honey. But I knew that sleep would come to me eventually. And you'd be there alone with the sickness. Your eyes wide open in the dark. Oh, I, oh no, Tara, no. Wake up, please. It's just a dream to hear. It's a trick, a lie. It can't be. Oh, I need you to be alive. I'll come back, please. I need you. I was the one living in a dream, Tara. A dream where you were still alive. Now the dream has ended. It's time to wake up to a new world. This guy went all out on the story. Everything here looks like it's been frozen, and here I am. And the <laughs> no, 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 booby. You so guys are awful. The fog she might like. still be warm. Tara what called a it a crater. Did something fall from the sky here? It's unreal, Tara. I... <sighs> I'm sorry, but I'm kind of terrified right now. I guess there's no turning back. No? Yeah, I knew that. It's okay. Is that a nuclear bomb? Dumbass at the mine. Is it still active? Gary said the army messed up with the crater. They wanted to seal it, but... Wes seemed to fear the fact that pilgrims wouldn't keep coming here. And that that would have consequences. Like it, do you still love me, Tara? Even like this? Well, I guess it doesn't matter what you are. I loved you as a memory, as a dream, even as a ghost. <laughs> That's a friggin' mine! This is what truly drives a pilgrim in the end. Love. Okay, girl. I'm coming with you. 
show me morals. The voice acting of this is just I've never I've never heard voice acting this good in an indie game before. Many things break in our lives all the time. How are you I'd going like so to fast? say that there's no need to be afraid. Yet if nature is constantly trying to fill the absence of light. What a fantastic game. Doesn't that mean it knows fear? Fear of emptiness? Of what is not? That's what makes Special Ground 2 so special. It's a constant hole in reality. A never-ending beginning. Today, I still have doubts that all this really happened. I just know it's okay to be afraid. And I'm sure of one thing. This world has many special grounds. And one day or another, we'll go. And I drink alone. Yeah! With nobody else. You know I drink alone. I prefer to be by myself. GG's. That was a very good game. That was fun. That was a uh, that was a fantastic game. Very good. It's rare that I. S hey, I need your ID card. No ID, no room. That's me. Still no news of Jade Lacroix, the 36-year-old woman who disappeared one month ago during a sandstorm in the Sandstove Creek area, Death Valley. <sighs> Poor girl. Oh shit. Cliffhanger. He's planting a hook for a sequel. Very good. That game was called Dark Days. And that was a very... October 24th. Ah, whatever. That was a very good game. That was a very, very good game. Thank you, everybody. For answering the blade signal and coming and slaying some ghouls and goblins and ghosts with Papa Blade and the League of Blades. Thank you to everybody who liked and laughed and lurked and otherwise just had a good time with all of us here tonight. They Thank you to all of my heroes, all the tributes to, your faith, that the to the League of Blades. Takes back what they have given. People true love with heroic lives. deeds. And now you know how the legend people cruiser was born like jared magic man david marold melt millennial jeremy watson now that, that way the emotes can fly still of approval jen two boob lord frieza jojo definitely not a bot zachary b kenneth coon one year as a blade master. Good to have you, Kenneth. Marcelo, 13 months as a tier three blade master. Cody Gilstrap, 12 months. Brian Lee, your dirty thoughts. Sarah Jarvis, Melt Millennial. Ryan, Arithmetic. Special Agent Seagull Squat, 11 months. Good to have you, Blade Master. Jordan Knight Train Cooper. Seven months. Welcome back. And Thaddy Boatwright. Starting to stream off the right way with the five bowers. Thank you all so much. Be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow. Dragon's Dogma. We got a lot of monsters to slay. A lot of monsters to slay tomorrow in Dragon's Dogma. Can't wait to bring Chip and Dick. I, about said, I said Chip and Dick. Can't wait to bring Chip and Dip Rescue Arisen back. Ogres, trolls, dragons, oh my. Lots of giant monsters to poke deep in their eye. 
to the Sandman, I said hi. Night, night. And goodbye. What you don't know is there's a gap between living and dying. Some say they've seen the dead cruiser in a flash of lightning or on the shadowy curves of the highway. Some say he was just a kid who met his fate in a fiery crash. But anyone fool enough to venture out onto that treacherous road should know one thing. There's no turning back. <laughs>